And Angela has lived in Cornwall since 1998. Um, she's had um, two books out, Once in a Blue Moon, and Wait and Flight, which I think is on sale here tonight. Yes, it is. Um, she won the Poetry Society's Stanza Award last year and the Poetry Out Loud competition in Cornwall. Um, she's inspired by the landscape of Cornwall, by the power of myth and metaphor, to transfer the inner landscape and contribute to emotional well-being. And uh, she's written professional articles on that subject. But tonight she's here to give you some of her poetry. And so please give a big Dodo Modern Poets welcome to Angela. So <laughs> Okay, um, it's great to be back here again, but it is lovely to be called. Can everybody hear me because I'm going to try and do without the mic? Yes. Okay. I know why the seal sings. So do you. You think that magic must be written in ancient code on yellowed parchment and stuck in a secret drawer. It's much, much nearer home. Nestled in the sweated eiderdown of dreams, held in a feather or a pebble that claims you on a beach. Using your talisman is easy. Using it requires the courage of a snail that will unpack itself, wave horns, leave silver messages. Transformation costs. Shells crack. Predators sense your skinlessness. But that's the moment magic comes, smelling of rivers he has crossed to reach you. And he is singing, singing, singing. You could sing back just once. Open your mouth and sing, because I know why the seal sings, and the mermaid too, and who they sing to. So do you. You do. You do. You do. <laughs> it's been an absolutely wonderful summer and I've managed to have a, a wonderful routine, very idyllic. So I'm going to take you all to Cornwall for a moment. Um, and the routine I follow in the mornings in the summer has almost got religious quality to it, as you'll see by the use of some of these words. This dawn vigil is no hardship, watching the subtle lightning of the sky, charcoal, grape, slate, a silver green, before the sun sneaks up, spilling crimson over everything. I track the red disc rising, smell gorse and mist on the west wind. And this baptism's a sacrament of pleasure. Limbs spread out in parody of flight. My hair, some creature of the sea, not me. I hardly splash, but laugh. I walk back through the churchyard, and he's there, waiting for his blessing. The little black three-legged cat, who's got a knack for finding sun-warmed corners an instinct for hidden scraps of love. I gather irresistible wildflowers in my arms like prayers. Harebells, bluebells, something cupped and delicate that hang over my wrists like tiny dresses. And this communion, bacon, egg, toast and silence save for the odd contented gulp of coffee, cry of a seagull, you turning the newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, this is a poem based on one of the Newlyn School paintings about a girl on a rock at the morning. And this is her voice as I see it. A whole shilling? For something so simple as sitting still. But it ain't that simple. I'm a body needs to be always on the move. There's always flaws and taters to be scrubbed, eggs to be collected, ocean to be met at dawn, leaping over rocks barefoot. 
In ain't so simple sitting still, muscles ache, and you get to thinking thoughts that ache almost as much of your muscles, like, how come he can toss a whole shilling so casual-like, and how come I get to hold the sweeping, him the painting brush? What would it be like to paint? To turn these rocks and cliffs, the gorse, the lichen, seals and seabirds and the ever-changing ocean into shapes and colours. You couldn't, could you? How could anybody? I turn to look at him to see if I can see the secret. And he stares back at me. Such a stare. He's stripping me, not just of clothes, but skin, muscle, even bone, he's searching for the very bedrock of my soul. Does he think, for just a shilling, he can hunt that down, capture it and splash it on a canvas for the world to see? <laughs> Each feather that you pluck tears at my skin. I try to scream, but realise I'll never talk again or sing. My screams will forevermore be silent, because I'm dumb without my wings. I would have shown you where to go and how, shone a torch to show you which star shines with the colour of your dreams, but I am blind without my wings. I could have stroked and teased until and massaged all your pain away, stroked and teased until your nerves exploded from the pleasure of my touch. But I am numb without my wings. I would have listened to you every night, sympathised, murmured sympathy, stilled that lonely scream of fear. But I am deaf without my wings. I would have lifted you. We could together have soared the sky so high. But how could I ever fly without my wings? <laughs> and this last one is uh, not quite such a gentle goodbye. Not quite so... <coughs> And it's a warning to any man who's ever dumped a woman, because my hand haunts you. <laughs> I'm going to be a thorn in your side, hole in your shoe, sty in your eye, wasp in your stew. I'm going to be that voice that says, your call is held in a queue. <laughs> the seam that splits when you're getting dressed, running late for an interview. I'm going to be that wicked tooth that aches and keeps you up at night. The parking ticket, the bank's mistakes, the pinks that run with the whites. You thought you could jump out of bed, just shrug and say, well, it's over. No, I'll keep thumping in your head like a New Year's Day hangover. Every drip of the tap, every squeak of the door, every slip or mishap, every leak on the floor, every ache, every pain, every hard to shift stain, every break, every sprain, that'll be me again. I'm a glitch, I'm a hitch, a lost pitch, a dropped stitch. I'm an itch, I'm a witch, I'm a bitch, you ditched. Hey. <laughs> On that, uh, on that bombshell, Angela has Yay! finished her first set. Yay! Our next performer, our third in our chorus trio, actually lives in London now, but originally comes from Praia Sands, and uh, I've known her from that. Praia Sands! Yeah, well, I was, I'm just testing you. I'm just testing you. From Praia Sands. So, um, uh, but she, she lives in London now, and she's very active in the London um, performance uh, poetry circuit, but also performs... Uh, in festivals in Cornwall and elsewhere. She's got a book on sale here tonight, which is excellent, called Hush. So without more ado, uh, welcome back to the Dodo stage, Sue Johns. Tell me if you can't hear and I'll reinstate it, but... <laughs> 